Troubling new trends emerging in the Florida housing market. And today we're going to do a deep dive analysis into the Punta Gorda Metro, a deep dive into Charlotte County, because I'm committed to sharing the truth about what's happening in each and every Florida housing market. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. My name is Chris Igo. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate your participation in our journey. But breaking news, Warren Buffett says we're not through with bank failures. And if you've been watching for a while, you know that I've said the exact same thing. And having been a stockbroker for damn near 20 years and experienced the great financial crisis, when there was systemic risk within the banking system and a massive liquidity crisis. And we all remember how that turned out. No bueno. Because when people don't trust the banking system, they pull their money. And while it's completely irrational to do so, a run on the banks will cause a major financial crisis. And Warren Buffett, the king of fundamental analysis, the king of value buying, the king of buy low, sell high, believes there could be more bank failures down the road, but depositors should not ever be worried. And he goes on to say, we're not over bank failures, but depositors haven't had a crisis. And although banks go bust, depositors aren't going to get hurt up until they are. But I can tell you, if there is not confidence in the banking system and the consumer does not believe their money is safe, there's a lot of folks that are going to get hurt. But today we're going to do a deep dive analysis into the Punta Gorda Metro, and we're going to see if homeowners in this metro were hurt. Because closed sales fell off a cliff, down 37.3%. Cash sales were down 32.6%. Median and average sales price were both on the downtick. And this is the first market where I've seen both average and median sales price take a hit out of all the markets that I've covered so far. But the median sales price was down almost 5% from 388 down to 370. And the average sales price was down 6.6% from 487 to 454. And while homeowners in this market are sitting on a metric shit ton of cash, I can assure you those same homeowners absolutely feel like they got hurt when they look at those numbers because the numbers don't lie. And while I'm certain most homeowners are aware that they are sitting on a metric shit ton of equity, nobody likes to see a downtick. And equity in your home disappearing hurts. Dollar volume was down 41.5%, which is a function of closed sales being down so much. And the median percent of original list price received was down 3%, down from 100 to 97%. Median time to contract upticked 118 days from 11 days to 24 days, which to be clear is not a long time to go under contract. And while we've seen this stat uptick in almost every market that I've covered, I don't think I've seen one this low. And time to sale uptick 16.1% to 65 days, up from 56 days. New pending sales were down almost 16%. New listings were up 11.4%. And pending inventory was down 12.1%. But the active listings, the inventory of homes sitting on the market unsold, upticked almost 156%. There are 1,359 homes sitting on the market unsold in the Punta Gorda Metro, which is great news if you're thinking about buying and probably not so great if you're thinking about selling. And month supply uptick to three and a half months, up 250%, up from a month. But a jump from one to three and a half months is a pretty big jump and trending to a buyer's market fast. And if we look at median sales price over the course of the last 12 months, it tells us a story. And although February was down 4.8% to 370,000, the last 12 months have been insane appreciation. 22%, 27%, 36.7%, 37.6%, and 41.3% median sales price appreciation over the course of the last 12 months. But year to date, it is negative. 0.9%. And the average sales price tells a similar story. And we've got a trend confirmed in this market as far as average sales price is concerned. Because the first quarter of 2023 has been no bueno in terms of average sales price. With February down 6.6%, January down 38 and December down 23 
I may have gotten a little bit ahead of myself because March numbers are not out yet, but I'd be shocked if it doesn't extend through the full quarter. And year-to-date average sales price is down 5.4%. And while that is obviously not a good thing for homeowners in this market, from October of 2022 to February of 2022, there has been massive appreciation in terms of average sales price, with percentage gains of 24.3%, 27%, 20.6%, 26 26.4%, 35.4%, and damn near 45%. Well, those double-digit gains are over, and it's a return to normal. But the trend is not your friend if you're thinking about selling, and it's certainly your friend if you're thinking about buying. Which takes us to new listings. In new listings, the new supply of homes coming on the market, is up year-to-date 4.6%, and in February, it was up 11.4%, which broke the streak of negative returns in terms of new supply. Because in January, new listings were down 3%, in December, they were down 16%, in November, they were down 29%, October, they were down 55%, and September, they were down 10%, which tells me that the folks in Punta Gorda who own a home at a low interest rate, they are not interested in selling because nobody wants to trade up into a higher monthly mortgage payment, up until they do, which takes us to the distressed market that exists for single-family homes in Punta Gorda, in Charlotte County. And what you can see in this chart is that there is no distressed market within this metro. Zero foreclosures, zero short sales, zero zilch nada. There are no distressed sales, which is essentially the same trend that we see throughout the state of Florida for February. And it's going to take enormous financial pain to create distressed sales within the state of Florida. And before you're ever going to see a distressed sale market, you will see a massive supply of homes for sale. And when that happens, you will also very likely see a massive downtick in home prices if demand goes away. Because supply and demand are going to dictate price every single time. Now, I hope you found this content valuable, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. If you're thinking about buying or selling, please reach out to me directly because we would love to help. And check out my next video because I suspect you will love it a lot. And until next time, peace.